Hey there everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my realistic and balanced what I eat in a day. If you are new around here, hello and welcome. I am so excited that you have found my video here on YouTube. Um, my name is Marissa. I'm a pharmacist and integrative nutrition health coach. And here on YouTube, I share lots of healthy recipes, meal ideas, and food inspiration. Um, and before we go ahead and get started with today's video, I just wanted to briefly share what my philosophy is to healthy eating. So I don't follow any one particular diet. I don't count calories. I don't restrict any macronutrients, so carbs, fats, or proteins. Really, I just try to eat intuitively and listen to my body. And I try to eat foods that, you know, on a regular basis that are going to provide me with lots of nutrients that help my body function at its best, but also balance that with enjoyment. Food is meant to be enjoyed and not something to overly stress over. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some breakfast. I am so hungry and I'm so excited. <laughs> sitting outside. They finally stopped mowing the lawn at my neighbor's house. So it's quiet and peaceful and I hear the birds chirping and cheers. Look who decided to make a surprise appearance. This is Mr. Buddy, if you don't know. This is my little kitty cat. He's adorable. He's a little camera shy, but he's so cute and I love him. Hey guys, so it is lunchtime and I'm going to make some salmon. Um, it's actually, I'm gonna call it like a lemon garlic roasted salmon, but it's gonna be in the air fryer. So anyways, um, basically I just took my salmon and I just rinsed it under some cold water. I always like freeze my salmon um, and like these little individual portions. So that way it's super simple to like just take out as much as I need whenever I need it. And I usually try to buy it when it's on sale. So just a little hack right there. So anyway, so I'm just using a paper towel to kind of dry it up so that there's not like a ton of water there. And now I'm just gonna take a small bowl and I'm going to use maybe like a third of this lemon because I don't, I don't have like that much salmon, but if you have more, you can definitely use more. So we're just gonna add this lemon juice into here. And then I'm gonna take about like a tablespoon of avocado oil. And then you're gonna want one clove of garlic and you're gonna wanna mince it. I'm taking a shortcut and just using this already minced garlic and I'm kind of eyeballing it, but it would be about like a quarter to a half of a teaspoon. Then we're gonna put in a little bit of some freshly ground black pepper. And then we're just gonna stir that together. Super simple. And then, I'm gonna take this little brush and I'm just gonna get this oil and lemon juice garlic mixture here on the brush. And we're just gonna brush that right over the top of the salmon. Now you can saute this on the frying pan. You can put this in the oven to let it cook. I'm going to place it in the air fryer. Um, I love my air fryer, I use it all the time. And I'm just gonna cook this until it's cooked. Um, I probably like 370 degrees for about 10 minutes and then I will check it um, and then we'll be good. 
Okay, so while the salmon is cooking, I had some quinoa going. Um, I actually ended up burning it just a little bit on the bottom and that's just because I was distracted while I was cooking, but it looks like it's salvageable, most of it's salvageable. Um, and then I wanted to say that the remaining lemon juice and oil garlic mixture here, um, we're not gonna throw that away, no food waste. So I'm going to just put this in the frying pan, just warm it up a little bit, cook it, get the garlic to saute um, and get it like slightly golden brown, but not burn. I will watch it, unlike the quinoa. Um, and the reason is because I had, you know, I touched the brush with the salmon and that was raw. So I just wanna make sure it's cooked and it's good to go. And then I'm going to pour this over the quinoa. And while that is all cooking, I'm actually pretty hungry because it's pretty late. It's like 3.09. Um, I was running some errands and lost track of time. And so we're having a late lunch today. But anyway, so I'm just really hungry. So I have this like leftover piece of chicken from a, a dinner that I had during the week. So I'm just going to go ahead and heat this up and have that now while I wait. You know what, you guys? My quinoa is actually not that burnt. I think I saved it just in time. I think it was just about to if I had not stopped it. So, all right. So when you are making quinoa, um, whenever it's done cooking, you put the lid back on the pot and you take this off the flame. And what you do is you just let it sit for like five minutes. And then you take a fork and you kind of tease it a little bit and it gets you that like fluffy quinoa that we're looking for. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put some of that on my plate here. Um, I just put some romaine lettuce and chopped up a little bit of a cucumber. Super simple. So when you are cooking salmon, there is the skin on it, and I have found that it's so much easier to remove it after the salmon is cooked. So I typically just leave it on there, and then as you can see here, it just easily comes off um, after it's cooked. So you do wanna make sure that you remove this prior to eating your salmon. Mmm, that's so good. I finished these crackers, they're so good, and I love them, but there's not enough in here. So it's one one thing I will say, but they're really good. Um, and now I'm just going to snack on just like a couple pieces of my homemade granola. This is so, so good. Hey you guys, so it is now dinner time, and I am like halfway through the cooking process, and I had this great dinner planned. I was going to make tacos. I was going to make them in this like lettuce boat because I love those. I've got the cheese ready. I've got the corn chips. I have like like all my spices out, the sauce can open, like literally everything is on point. Except that I just checked my pantry, my spice cabinet, and I don't have any chili powder. I can't make tacos without chili powder. So now I'm like, Oh goodness, um, now what am I gonna make? I'm already halfway through all of this. So, I don't know, let's see what I can come up with. Okay, so this is what I have thus far. I've got ground beef, onions, and garlic sauteing, and the meat is cooking. And then I also have this, I'm trying to grab it, hang on. I got this tomato sauce ready to go. I've got like some spices out, garlic, onion powder, oregano. That was gonna be paprika and cumin for the chili or the tacos, but um, I don't know, that doesn't look like it's gonna be happening now. So now I get to figure out what I'm going to actually turn this into. So should be fun to keep watching to find out.
so good. Despite the last minute changes, dinner was a total success. I am curious though. I mean, I have this lettuce boat. I washed it and everything. I'm kind of curious to see. I'm gonna put some of the meat on here and see what it tastes like. And I wanna get the full experience. So I'm gonna put this cheese on it too. It's like a taco without the chili spice. Here we go. Cheers. You know what? It's really good. I could have totally stuck to the taco thing. It just doesn't have like a kick, but it's so good. All right, you guys, so that is everything that I ate today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more healthy recipes and to learn how to improve your health. And if you would like to see another What I Eat Today, then be sure to click the videos that are on the screen and I will see you over there. Bye.